Hi guys, and welcome to Links Work on Beauty. I am super happy that I finally had the time to film my beauty room tour, my updated beauty room tour. Because we are moving in less than two weeks and I haven't really said anything because it has just been so hectic. I've been working so much and we've been packing and all that great moving stuff. JK, it's fucking annoying. But, I mean, we are going to be moving somewhere hot. Somewhere where there's no snow, like here, like I'm done. So I'm super excited. I'm super excited. I'm super excited. I'm super excited to be moving somewhere that's gonna be like summer all year round. It might rain a lot, but I can deal with rain rather than snow. So the last thing that I've decided to pack was my beauty room because I wanted to get a video up for you guys. I wanted to do my beauty room tour and all that other great stuff. So make sure that you guys do subscribe to my channel because at 1k subscribers I'll be having a huge giveaway. From here on now I will be posting a lot of vlogs, bringing you guys with us on our big move, our big journey because within the next year there's going to be a lot of crazy-ish going on that I cannot wait to share with you guys. Also, if you guys want to see how I created this makeup tutorial, look at the next video that I'll be uploading because it will be my summer goddessy RNG makeup tutorial look. So with all that being said, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video room tour. And comment down below what is something that you love in my beauty room. So without further ado, let's see what's in my video. Okay guys, so this is the beauty room. I don't even know where to start because the last time that I did a beauty room collection, this room was totally empty. And I really just wanted to give you guys a tour on everything and show you guys where I got stuff and also just show you guys my makeup collection. So this is the room. There's my studio and just a little dresser over here. And then on the ground we have my fur rug and a little fur rug there. So I'm also going to show you guys where I got everything and all that good stuff. All of my art pieces are either from TJ Maxx or Home Goods. I recently just put up that gold one there um, because I actually got custom curtains done and I also got the pillowcases. So when I seen that art piece, I was like, I need to get it because it just matched so good. So we are moving, which is something I haven't told you guys. So that's why I wanted to do a beauty room tour before I pack all this up. So this little shelf right here, I actually got um, off a furniture app. And you can actually get this whiteboard at Kmart, at Walmart, at Big Lots. It runs for about $30, but if you get it from Ikea, it's $50. So here is my holiday edition kit that I received for Christmas from my girlfriend. And then I have my Kylie Cosmetics Times Kim Kardashian lippies there and then i just have some glasses here that i kind of like keep out this marble disc i got from tj maxx then i have this gold perfume bottle with my gold lorac beauty and the beast lippies let's see how long this video is gonna be <laughs> and then on this side i have my collection of my anastasia beverly hills glow kits I have two Moonchild because I loved this one so much when it first came out. And then I mostly only use it for like more crazier looks like Halloween and things like that. So I mostly have all of them. The most precious one is this one which is the Nicole Guerrero one. But this one is sold out forever which is really really sad. Since these are all on display, I swear to God, I barely ever use them, which is freaking crazy because I have all of them except for the Gleam one. These lights, by the way, I purchased from Pear Imports. 
This is, I believe, the 10 foot, and I just taped it around, and these were about, um, I think these were $20. Then on the bottom here, I have all my Anastasia lippies, and then this gold skeleton I got from TJ Maxx. Any lip organizers that you guys do see, I purchased them from Amazon or TJ Maxx. Then to the right, I have a gold pineapple, and just a Too Faced The Power of Makeup by Nikki Tutorials palette. On the bottom, on the bottom I have my heels that I purchased from Fashion Nova or Forever 21. Those are from, from, those are from Forever 21. Those ones are from, I believe Forever 21 as well. And the bottom two are from Fashion Nova. Now to my Ikea Alex. No, I forget what these are called these shelves here but I purchased these white shelves from Ikea each of them I believe were like 20 something dollars if I'm mistaken I'm going to be linking everything down on the bottom on the top here I have all my ColourPop lippies and my Jeffree Star and my Dose of Colors I don't have many because I kind of leaned away from this collection of ColourPop and Jeffree Star but I recently just bought this summer one and I really really love it this ColourPop Times Hello Kitty box actually came with a lippy and some highlighter and blushes. And then on this second row, I have all of my Too Faced items. So I have my Sweet Peach and Glow palette. I have my Chocolate Bomb Bomb palette. I have my Chocolate Bar palette. I've been dying to get the Semi Sweet one. But now that I have no space, I haven't even bought it. <laughs> and then I have my Sweet Peach palette. This little palette organizer is actually like a stationary organizer for like files and stuff. But I actually bought this at TJ Maxx. Most of the items I bought at TJ Maxx because they are just so gorgeous. And they put such a statement piece to your beauty room. Then I have this Love Flush. Okay. This Love Flush like blush palette which is like one of my favorites like it has all the blushes oh, look at my little cat ears <laughs> it has like all of my blushes and then i actually got this sweet peach limited edition bag when i purchased the sweet peach collection also i have the sweet peach lippy all my melted lippies and then i have some in the back there and then these are the only two like mattes that i have well, the only matte and then this gloss that I'm obsessed with so that's that and then I also received this honey little tote when I purchased the honey lip gloss from Too Faced then down to this row then down to this row which is all my Kylie items so here are the two new Kylie highlighters this one is in the shade Queen and then this one is in the shade King. I'm actually going to be showing you guys these highlighters in a tutorial. And then recently, um, I got these velvet lippies, which I'm super excited to try out. Um, my girlfriend actually bought me this as a little set, which she is so freaking cute for doing that. I love her so much. And then this is the Kylie's Diary palette. This actually released um, on Valentine's Day. I'm not going to show you and pick it up because I'm going to drop the camera, but yeah. And then these are all my Kylie lippies. Before, I had like not one Kylie lippy, and for me to have this many is like a dream. Most of them actually came from that holiday edition in this pack here. So I think it came with like more than 10 lippies if I'm not mistaken. But any like silver ones and a couple other ones actually came in that bundle. And then on this side, I have the two summer highlighters from the Kylie Summer Ultra Glows. And these are from her summer collection. They are so freaking fire. I want to also show you those. And then here is an oldie but a goodie, her birthday collection minis, which I used a couple times. So those are all my Kylie items. Then on this last um, shelf, I basically have all my palettes. I have this palette, which is my Alice... Um, my Alice Through the Looking Glass palette. 
I never used this palette and had it for so long. I had it like in the box and I was like, it is so beautiful. My mom actually has a beauty room too and she had this on display and I was like, every time I go in her room and I see it, I'm like, I need to put mine on display. So when you like bring these out, like all the colors are there. I never even use this palette, but one day, one day I will. I just never like wanna snatch it. So and then I have some palettes here that are actually too tall to put in my drawers, except for this one. This one I just have there because just for show, I guess. This is the Kylie Holiday Kai Shadow Palette, which was an all right palette. Then I have my Carly Bible palette. Then I have my Take Me to Brazil palette. My Lorac Mega 3 palette. My Natural Love palette from Too Faced. Then the Deluxe Carly Bible palette, which I barely have used. My Morphe 350 palette. My Tropical Summer palette from um, BH Cosmetics. This will be up in a tutorial, so make sure you guys do check that out. What else, what else? And then my Nikki Tutorials palette. And then my Big Blush Book 2 from Tarte. So you can actually now purchase this acrylic organizer from Allegory on Amazon. Then on the bottom I just have my Real Technique brushes and then on that side I have my Morphe brushes and e.l.f. brushes. Then on the bottom I just have my Moschino box and then just the box from the blush thing. This little cloud carpet I actually got from TJ Maxx in the baby section. <laughs> So that is all that is on there. And like I said, all my arts are from TJ Maxx. That heart actually lights up and I wish I turned it on. So that's how it looks on. And then of course, the beauty of it all, my Impressions Vanity Extra Glow Mirror with the Ikea tabletop and the two Alex drawers. This acrylic chair is from Ikea. So first of all, let's start off over here. So here I just have some beauty sponges and then over here I have all my MAC lippies and then some Urban Decay lippies. Right here I have my um, like little nail polish rack which I bought at TJ Maxx. So in this acrylic organizer I also got from TJ Maxx. Um, I basically just have my Too Faced translucent powder, some little sponges back there. A backup and then my Laura Mercier and then in here just some Red Blonde lips, lip glosses some Kat Von D and I never even knew this what is this oh a Maybelline matte I guess and then in here just some other stuff <laughs> and here are my dream matte mousse creams which I use on my clients I freaking love that foundation by the way then in here I just saw my ColourPop highlighters and some of the ColourPop blushes. My favorite to die for ColourPop highlighter, this one. Like you can't even see that it says ColourPop anymore because I use it like all the time. And it is in the shade, let's see, Wisp. Like literally my freaking favorite. I want to buy like a hundred of these, but I'm surprised I haven't even hit pans, so I haven't bought any others. Then there's this ColourPop times Hello Kitty one, which came in that package, and this is in the shade Yummy Cookies. This one's also really pretty. Another one that's really pretty is this one that has like a tie-dye effect. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it is super pretty, and this one is in the shade Glazed. And then I just have a Physicians Formula blush, and then this Dream Bounce blush from Maybelline. And here are some dirty brushes that I need to wash. These are like all my brushes that I use. People that have so many brushes, like I don't know how you keep up because that's all I have. <laughs> then over here I have another acrylic organizer that I bought from TJ Maxx. And then this little Paris is from TJ Maxx as well. This little high, this little, what is it called? An Eiffel Tower, I guess. And then over here are all my Wet n Wild um, face brushes, which I love. This little tray I got from TJ Maxx. It's so freaking cute. Like, look at it. And that also goes for that XOXO. So in here, I just have all my ColourPop eyeshadows. 
And here I have all my NYX rookies. And here is just extra of those. And some drugstore primers. What else do I have in here? These are like some oldie lip glosses. Literally oldie. Like Victoria's Secret oldie. <laughs> And then here is all my glitters. This is like my favorite jar ever. And then my favorite glitter glue, which is by Too Faced. These I got from superglitters.com. I'm sure they're open, so you can look to see if they are. And then these are just some NYX glitters. In this last jar are just all my lippy pencils and then my Huda Beauty lipstick. So now we're going to go into the draws. And here are just some lashes. I used to have so many of these Nicole ones, but I'm like all of them. I need to go more lash shopping. But these are like all the lashes that I have. Some velour. Some Eyelor. And then these are my favorites. These are the Ardell Demi, Demi Wispy Lashes. That's in there. And here are just my bronzers. Yeah, these are all my bronzers. So I have like my L'Oreal Infallible, my Physicians Formula. What is this? My Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. What's this one? My Too Faced Pink Leopard one. This one's like so beautiful. I love it. And then just my Fit Me foundation, my Milani. This is such a good baked bronzer, by the way. Like, this makes your face look so tan and natural. This is my all-time favorite. What the hell? This one is my all-time favorite, and this is my Hula by Benefit. This is, like, the best bronzer. If I can open it with one hand. Okay. This is, like, the best bronzer that makes my skin look naturally bronze i love it i got this um personally personalized like i don't know last year i think and it was actually really expensive <laughs> never will i do that again i think it was like a limited time edition type of thing and then this is my dream wonder powder i never used this but this is my nyc sun and bronze what's this my master fix Face Studio Setting Powder. This is actually a good setting powder, except it is flashback, so I would recommend it, but not if you're going out for the night to take pictures. And then this is just a drugstore highlighter. So in the back here, um, it's clearly a mess, clearly. But I just have like my regular um, Milani eyeshadows, a NARS one, and then these are just some glitters from Wet n Wild. Then these, I haven't found a home for them. <laughs> But these actually came in the Kylie holiday set. This is like a white um, eyeliner. What's this one? These are actually really pretty. And these, uh, this one is the golden plum one. Can you see that? It's super freaking pretty. I never use these, but I really like want to start using them. What's this one? This is yellow gold. It looks so freaking beautiful. Like, look at that. So pretty. Maybe I should start using them, but I never do. And then lastly, this one is in the shade Camo. I can open it. Like I said, these came in the Kylie Edition set. So yeah, those are them. They're really pretty. I just thought I swatched them because I never swatched them. <laughs> so now I guess I'll use them. So then in this straw, oh yeah, by the way, this organizer is from Amazon, which I believe I mentioned before in my first impressions video. And then in here are all of my babies. This gorgeous acrylic organizer that literally goes all the way to the back of the um i was gonna say cabinet drawer is from vanity collections you can follow them on instagram like literally girl if it's all your long palettes and even like double the size so is this zoomed in yeah it was zoomed in like an idiot so okay so first of all i have my naked two palette this is like 
my Urban Decay family right here. Like all of this. So, and then I have my Naked 3. What's this? My Naked Smoky. My Naked 2. And the new Naked Heat. This, this is a bad boy right here. This is my Naked Illuminating Trio, which is really, really pretty. This is my Naked Ultimate Basics palette. This is my Urban Decay Jean Michael Basquiat palette. This, I never use in a tutorial, but Lord, let me just show you guys, because this is like the one palette I barely use, but like when I first bought it, I was like dying for it. This is how it looks. Like, it is freaking gorgeous. This blush, I know you're probably like, eh, I'm not really feeling it. But look at this highlighter. Oh! Yeah, that's my girlfriend. Like, look at this freaking highlighter. Let me... Can I talk? This highlighter is to die for. Like, let me swatch it for you guys so you guys can see it. If I can. Do you guys see that? I don't know if you can. Focus. I don't know if you can, but like literally, it is so freaking beautiful. Okay, now you can. Look at that. It's so freaking beautiful. So that's that. And then over here, we have my Serpentina palette from Kat Von D, my Electric palette, my Tardis Pro palette, and what's this one? My Valley Ball is Time for Early. Which is like a rider dye palette for me because all these shades are freaking amazing. So that's what's basically on this side. I'll have to fix that up. And here is literally like my junk drawer where I just keep like my makeup bags, my curling iron, some makeup wipes, my best brush cleaner. It's in the bottom here. And the bottom here is my flat iron. FYI, if you don't want to invest in an expensive brush cleaner, like pad, this is like a Lego thing that I stole from my brother and it really works. <laughs> and then I just have like on the bottom here, like Halloween makeup and then some like face masks and all that good stuff. And then this is just my camera box. Okay, so on this side, this first drawer is one of my favorites because it's like I sit there in the morning or on the weekend I should say because I never do my makeup during the week and I just have everything in a place that works for me this acrylic organizer right here I got from TJ Maxx and it was literally on clearance for like five dollars and I freaking love it and the back here these are two just like regular little um, baskets that you can get from like the dollar store and the back here I just have things like I don't know things I really use but like this is like my little brush from my bronzer kit. What else is that thing? I guess like some lipsticks that I barely use. And this is like a free moisturizer that Sephora recently gave us. Then my eyelash curler. In the back here I have my mascaras. These are on my Revlon. This is my Spider Effect Colossal. Flash Sensational. Too Faced Better Than Sex. This one should be over here. And then just some other mascaras. Over here, these are all of my like liquid liners, liquid pencils, like everything, everything. Like this one right here is my best freaking, um, it's called Extra Intense. Oh my God, can you even see this? Will this focus? Okay. Carbon Black Extra Intense by L'Oreal Paris. This is the best black like pencil that is super pigmented i love it at the moment my favorite liquid liner or liquid pencil i should say is from too faced the sketch marker one and then i also use this one which is the linear intense liquid liner one with a felt tip from l'oreal this one is freaking so good i'm excited to use that blue one and then over here is my Pores No More from Dr. Brandt. And then just some other mascaras and all that other stuff. This little section right here is all my concealers. So my NARS, these are my Fit Me Maybelline concealers in like light, medium, and dark. This sucker, it's all full and I use it like a couple times. 
Then, um, let me see. My Too Faced Born This Way in the shade, what's the shade of this? Light Medium. And then my other Born This Way from Too Faced in the shade Light. So I have Light and Light Medium. This Master Conceal is all right. I don't use it all the time. I mostly use it for spot concealing. Then I have my Tarte Shape and Tape in the shade, what shade is this? Light Medium. And then my Adrian one. Everyone was so hyped about this. And I think it's like, is it? Mm. But I'm not that big of a fan. Over here, I got my glues and all that other stuff. Over here is like my mini stuff. So like my MAC lip gloss, my TARDIS little lippy, my What's Up by Benefit little highlighters, some ColourPop lippies, the mini ones. Um, some glitters. These are really good glitters. Who are these by again? NYX. These are the best little glitters ever. And then my Professional and my Milani. And then these are all my Anastasia products. My Dip Brow. Eye Powder. My Concealer. And all the other stuff. So that's in there. Oh my god, I can I show this? Why is this video so long? And then in here. This is like my best draw out of all my draws, like literally my best draw. These two acrylic organizers are from an Impressions Vanity. I can admit they are expensive, but they are totally worth it. The first acrylic organizer that I had was this one in the back. These two are different sizes. One holds I think 32 and the other one holds 21. This bigger one that holds the bigger compacts is the one that holds less. This one, which holds smaller compacts, holds more. So when I first got this one, I realized that these little blushes were just like, I'll show you. They would be like swimming in here. So I was like, oh my God, like I need something smaller. So when I found out they had smaller ones, I ended up getting this one. So it worked out really good. So in here, I mostly keep my blushes and my highlighters. So over here are all my blushes. These are all my Benefit blushes. And these are my MAC blushes. These are all, these are my Tarte blushes. Really, really great blushes. Then these are the Too Faced blushes. This one is my favorite, Love Flush. And what is this? Love Hangover. <laughs> What's this one? How Deep Is Your Love? I love these blushes, they're so freaking good. And these are my Milani blushes. Over here are my Laura Geller highlighters. My Tarte highlighters. My Wet n Wild highlighters. My Becca Splits. My favorite, favorite, favorite bronze goddess highlighter. Like, this thing is to die for, literally. Really expensive, but it's good. <laughs> A limited edition MAC blush. So what else? On this side, I have on this side, I have my Milani new blushes. These are the color harmony blushes, I believe. Let me see. Yeah, these are like super gorgeous. Like they're super gorgeous. They have like a little highlighter in the center of them. They're really really pretty. And then my rose blushes. Then these are some all time favorite highlighters. This is actually a new highlighter. This, a new highlighter in my collection. This is the Ofra um, Highlighter in Blissful. So freaking gorgeous. I bought it from Ulta. And then when it came, it came broken. So I actually put it all inside this little container. So I've been using it like a loose powder highlighter. And it's freaking gorgeous. Then in the back here, I have some Milani highlighters. This one is in the shade 01. Then this one is in the shade 02. Then my NARS highlighter. In the back here is the Kylie highlighter in the shade Salted Caramel. Which I haven't even been reaching for whatsoever. And then, like I said before, and then this one is the Mac oh Darling Highlighter. And then my Anastasia So Hollywood Highlighter. So, don't forget, you can get these from Impressions Vanity. They are a little pricey, but they are totally worth it. 
Then in this drawer, my organizers are from Amazon. So in this little corner, I keep like all my gold palettes because they just look so pretty together. <laughs> and then this one is my Jeffree Star um, highlighter, which I recently used. And then over here, that's my Tardis Wish palette. Like you're gonna see these in my other video, but I don't care, I'm still gonna show them. <laughs> and then this is my, what is this palette called? My Tarte Energy Noir palette. My Tarte in Bloom, such a favorite. My Tardis Pro Glow To Go palette. Let's see if I'm gonna open it. Which looks like this. Best contour ever, literally. And then my Becca palette, which hasn't hit pan, which I'm very, very happy for. <laughs> and then just my Gwen Stefani, which just was not that great. My Narcissus palette, so good, so good. Over here, I have the Man is the Manizer Sisters. This has like the Mary Lou highlighter, a blush, and a bronzer. This is a really good palette. I really liked it. Then this is the I Like Your Face from ColourPop highlighter, which came broken, as you can see. I swatched it, but I haven't used it yet. The one that came broken, the one in the corner there was like a pale one, so I wasn't that sad because I don't like pale highlighters, so yeah. Then this is my Meet Matrimony from Bomb Cosmetics. And then over here are just my Anastasia, Modern Renaissance, Master Palette by Mario, my Shade and Light Palette, my Anastasia Contour Kits in the back, and then my next Contour Kit. That's a Benefit one. What's this? My Shade and Light one, my Smashbox, and then that one. Which looks like this. Best contour ever, literally. And then my Becca palette, which hasn't hit pan, which I'm very, very happy for. <laughs> and then just my Gwen Stefani, which just was not that great. My Narcissus palette, so good, so good. Over here, I have the, Man is the Manizer Sisters. This has like the Mary Lou highlighter, a blush, and a bronzer. This is a really good palette. I really liked it. Then this is the I Like Your Face from ColourPop highlighter, which what the hell? Come on. which came broken, as you can see. I swatched it, but I haven't used it yet. The one that came broken, the one in the corner there was like a pale one, so I wasn't that sad because I don't like pale highlighters, so yeah. Then this is my Meet Matrimony from Bone Cosmetics, and then over here are just my Anastasia, Modern Renaissance, Master Palette by Mario, my Shade and Light Palette, my Anastasia Contour Kits in the back, and then my next Contour Kit. That's a Benefit one, what's this, my Shade and Light one, my Smashbox, and then that one. Then, this next draw, which is one of my favorites. My foundation draw. You can purchase this foundation organizer from Vanity Collections. So this one is from Vanity Collections, and then my other one is from Vanity Collections. I'm already exhausted, I bet you this thing is like a half an hour long. So, and here is all my foundations, all my foundations, I can't even talk, sorry guys. So, it took me a while to collect this many, but I started collecting a lot when I started to do clients. Um, my favorite foundation at the moment that is drugstore is my L'Oreal Infallible, as you can tell. I have like so freaking many of them, and then what else? Another one of my favorites is the Milani Conceal and Perfector, and then also their setting, their setting, what is this? Setting spray. <laughs> and then my MAC setting spray is a must, and my Mario Badesco spray is a must. Then I have a lot of the Milani shades, because they actually are really, really, really great. They're like full coverage, so I like that a lot. 
This is a new favorite of mine, my Clinique Beyond Perfecting one. This is a goodie, but an oldie. I haven't touched base with this one. My Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. This is a goodie. Tired Rainforest of the Sea, which I haven't even used. Then my Too Faced Born This Way. I'm in the shade Warm Beige. Then my Anastasia Stick Foundation in the shade Warm Tan. What are these? My Maybelline Dream. I haven't tried this one yet. This is an oldie, the Better Skin Super Stay. And then what else is back here? My Wet n Wild. What one is this one? My Fit Me by Maybelline. My Poreless. An old Cap on D one. And yeah, so that's all of that. So look at this. Isn't it gorgeous? I am like obsessed with it. And it matches my curtains. Those little rods up there, I don't know if you can see, they have like clear knobs on them. You can buy them at TJ Maxx. I really, really love them. What I did to get these custom made was I bought a whole bunch of these pillowcases, which you can get from Amazon. I believe each pillowcase is about $5. I'm not sure. But I will link it down below. And what I did was I brought it to a person that actually hems my clothes for me. And she made these curtains for me so i just bought white curtains and i think each of these took like six pillowcases each to actually make it more fuller so that's what i did to kind of create the matching curtains with the matching pillows and then these furry pillows i got from target the little like sofa type of thing i got from um target as well then the corner i have my clientele chair just my printer and then this is where I film. Of course, I'm drinking lemonade, my favorite. So this is where I film. This is actually my fur chair, which I used to have over there, but I switched them because this one is more comfortable to film in. This table I got from Walmart. That's my diva ring light. My girlfriend got me that for Christmas. And then these are my studio box lights. So I have that one off. Click this button and they turn on like that. So they definitely make a difference when it comes to filming. Um, straight ahead, I have like a mirror over there. So some people are like, how do you like look at what you're doing? Well, I have like a mirror in back. So that way it's like, and last but not least on this little dresser type of thing, I have like my graduation pictures. Yeah, that was like one of the best days of my life. <laughs> And yeah guys, so I wanted to film this little beauty room tour with you guys because we are moving. We are moving somewhere like that takes us 24 hours to drive and just know that it is warm and tropical and we are ready to leave this snowy freaking city. So now that you guys have seen my beauty room, I hope that you guys enjoyed and I will be now packing all of this. <laughs> Bye, guys.